Hey guys, this is uh, Vince with Green Joe Coffee. I'm working on the truck right now, so there might be a little bit of generator noise in the in the back, um, but I'll try to speak loud. Hey, so um, I had a question on how to create a, uh, a menu, and uh, specifically the pricing on the menu. There's a guy that wants to set up a cart inside a museum. And uh, so what you really need to look at is what your uh, net profits are, are going to be, your estimated net profits, and how you obtain your net profits is by looking at um, basically your your customer count per day um, and you you times that by uh, well you you figure out what your gross profits would be and uh, subtract your your supplies and that'll give you your, your net profits then you times that by your customer count per day and that's going to put you around uh, what your uh, net needs to be so let me let me kind of give an example of this and that way you can kind of work through it so for example, we sell to about 10 to 15 percent of uh, the population that we come into contact with. So, if you're in a museum and your museum is seeing 300 uh, ticket sales a day, then expect to, set, to sell to anywhere between 30 to 45 customers per day. Now, um, at that rate, I'm going to use 30 because one of the keys, I think, to business is to underestimate um, your profits and overestimate your bills. Um, so let's say you have that 30 sales a day. Um, based upon that, if you're looking at, uh, you know, let's kind of do a little bit of calculations for your profit percentage. You want to come up with your total cost of your supplies. You know, you can use the ebook that I that I sell online to help with that because it breaks down all the supplies that I purchased, and that's going to be really useful when you're figuring out profit percentages. Um, so you want to look at your total cost of supplies. You take the cost of your sales. So say you're selling a 16 ounce cup of coffee for two bucks and it costs you 60 cents to make that cup of coffee then you're making a dollar forty off of each cup of coffee that's going to be your net profit right there off of each cup of coffee so times your dollar forty by the amount of sales you have per day and that's going to be how much net profit you you come up with per day um, so in this example dollar forty times thirty customers is going to put you at forty two dollars a day now, $42 a day times the amount of days that you work in a month will tell you how much money you have in your pocket to pay your rent, your bills, your you know your rent at home, uh, your gas, everything, right? Because that net profit is what's going to uh, to feed your family, all that, right? Um, so you want to kind of look at uh, those numbers and get a good idea on those numbers um, before you agree to any of these rents and stuff, right? So. You know, if if I were looking at setting up in a museum, um, it, it all depends on the rent. You know, I'd look at the ticket sales. Let's say they, they sell 300 tickets per day, and I can sell, you know, a latte and a sandwich and get an average sale of about $7 a day. Um, that's going to be, give or take, some hundred, 200 bucks a day. Uh, 200 bucks a day at, you know, if I can keep my profit percentage up to about, uh, you know, 70 65 percent that'd be great uh, that gives me about a hundred and I don't know 140 bucks a day to profit off of and if I'm working you know five days a week then you know we're sitting at oh what is that five right carry the one I don't know six maybe seven hundred bucks uh, two two grand a month based upon those numbers um, so so then I have to look at all my other bills and decide is that two grand gonna pay for them and if it's not, then I would negotiate on the rent and, and that type of thing with uh, with the museum. Uh, obviously, if there's a, a setup at the museum that's already there and uh, no one is running business, then I would be concerned, why did not this business succeed? Was the bills too high? Was this just a money management issue? Was there some other thing in place? So kind of be mindful of that um, when you're when you're looking for rent. I mean, it's it's hard to gauge how many customers you're going to get a day. That's that's you know your marketing, that's your neighborhood, those type of things. You know, you, you can you can do as much research on that. Kind of look at like Starbucks drive-throughs and compare them to foot, uh, you know, their drive traffic and try to get a gauge on that. Really, that's that's probably the, going to be the biggest, the most difficult aspect of this whole thing. It's trying to figure out how many customers per day you can expect. But I would say when you're trying to generate this stuff you know estimate on the low end um, because you you know it we would all we all have these 
high pie in the sky dreams but you know very often what ends up happening is you don't see those numbers and if your rent depends on it uh, then you may be struggling financially uh, to get this thing uh, taken off anyhow hey I hope this helps my name is Vincent I own Green Joe Coffee if you like this video subscribe if you're researching coffee trucks I have an ebook online it's worth the buy um, if you have any other questions Green Joe Coffee at gmail.com I hope this helps guys take care